Thank you all for coming today, for your participation. This is always so hard, <laughs> in the recognition of these soon-to-be medical laboratory technicians. Our Barton photographer will be taking pictures during this celebration of each, of, our, of each of our students as they receive their pen. These will be posted for your printing pleasure on Flickr. The students will also be given a link. So please, no photographs during the ceremony. You'll have all the time afterwards to set your own and take your own after our group photo. The time and support you have given these individuals, as well as their tenacity and dedication, has culminated in this celebration of their education today. I would like to recognize our Barton administration that helps to guide our program. As I heard one insightful student say, the behind the scenes leaders. We have Elaine Simmons, Dean of Workforce Training and Community Education. We have Dr. Kathy Kotis, Executive Director of Nursing and Healthcare Education. And Dr. Penny Quinn, the Vice President, here to join us today. <laughs> Thank you for all you do that our students don't know about. I would also like to recognize our instructors for the MLT program. We have Andrea Thompson, Associate Faculty. You at least know her name, if not her face. <laughs> we have Dana Weber, full-time faculty and advisor. These clinical lab professionals either share of their time as they work in a hospital lab or work here instead of a laboratory. Here is another career choice. <laughs> another career choice for lab people, being an instructor. Our instructors have been instrumental in MLT course construction, revisions, and instruction. A thank you goes to all the hospital labs and clinics that support the Barton students with time, supplies, and personal instruction. Thank you, instructors, for all that you do that the students don't know about as well. All right. Good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Cleveland Williams, one of the graduates this year. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to say thank you and give a hand clap to Cheryl and her uh, staff and also friends and family that came and visit, I mean, friends and family that are here today to honor this day with us. So thank you all. Okay. <laughs> For many of you, you may not know this program is tough. It will chew you up, <laughs> spit you out if you let it. It has been rewarding, but been some days where I questioned myself if I could do this or not. There was times I wanted to quit last semester. I think I was taking almost 12 to 13 hours. And I called Cheryl and I was like, I don't know what I can do. And basically she had no sympathy for me. And she told me to suck it up, buttercup. She said, you've been, she says, you've come too far to just give up right now. I basically just wanted to tell you guys my story just in the last two years just been in this program, okay? Um, besides being a student, I worked a full-time job. I worked a part-time job. I became a husband. I became a stepfather. I became a father. I lost a parent. Um, uh, in the last two years also, I got back into health and fitness, and I've lost 75 pounds. And doing all this, <laughs> during this time, trying to do all this and be a good husband, be a good father, be a, a good coworker, just, and then finding time for myself, it's, it's been tough, but today is a bittersweet moment. So to the graduates, for all the determination, the hard work, let's continue this. Let's enjoy today. Let's take this into our summer clinicals, and our next goal will be to put ASCP behind our names. Okay? So. And I know today it's a lot of smiles, and we may even have a tear. But it's a tear of joy, it's no sadness today, okay? So I would like to say thank you, congratulations, and good luck to all your future goals and to all your endeavors. Thank you. You guys are worried I'm gonna talk again, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, one more, one more lecture. I know, you knew you couldn't get out of it, but uh, so be it. I had to point out earlier, I had Alexa's two-week-old baby in my arms. 
And uh, we've been told to recruit. I assume that that's young enough, right? <laughs> uh, I decided I'm going to put my calling card in all the diapers of everybody in the nursery as they go home. When they're toilet trained, they can come see me. Not before then, OK? <laughs> so you know, it hasn't been a real great year for education in Kansas this year. Our state leaders, our school administrators, are faced with Solomon-like decisions concerning cuts in education and associated programs. You can't only pick up a newspaper or turn television on without listening to this. You can see the worry etched in the face of our administration. And it's very hard to avoid that vortex of concern and apprehension. Then you get a call from a student. You can hear the excitement and the happiness, sheer joy in their voice. They want to thank you for all that you and the other instructors do to help them succeed. My students have faced many obstacles this year, uh, really. Death of parents in more than one of you. Births of children. You have that woman in the good earth has nothing on you, Alexa. Gave birth, never missed a deadline, and nailed my course. You are good. You rock. Many of you work two jobs. You're raising families. And you're experiencing personal health issues. And some of my students even had major surgeries during this program. You kept going, and you succeeded. You realized your goal, and you did it very well. Well, after listening to that student on the phone, I was lifted by their joy and decided to get off my pity patty wagon and realize that if my students could face all these obstacles and still succeed, my problems were very small in comparison. My students are a true testament to human spirit and determination. My courses are hard. And I hold you to very high standards, don't I? Yes. Thank you, students, for teaching this old teacher a new lesson. You are why I am here. And when you are successful, I'm successful and complete. In the end, today is what is important, and your graduating is our only focus today. Congratulations, and thank you for redirecting my opinion. We'll be re presenting the MLT pens. Um, Dana will be giving the pins out as I call your name please come stand with Dana you'll have a photo taken Maria Kuhlman <laughs> Cleavon Williams Alexa Damo. And Sherry Marker. Yay. Vaughn and Dana have both pointed out, please celebrate today. Now, if the students would please rise on the back of your program, you will have a pledge to the profession that I would like you to recite. As a clinical laboratory profession, I strive to maintain and promote standards of excellence in performing and advancing the art and science of my profession, preserve the dignity and privacy of others, Uphold and maintain the dignity and respect of our profession. Seek to establish cooperative and respectful working relations with other health professionals. 
contribute to the general well-being of the community. I will actively demonstrate my commitment to these responsibilities my professional life. Welcome the graduates of 2015.